the Internet Archive is in danger. Internet Archive have been served some lawsuits surrounding copyright issues with certain books from certain publishers, which puts the entire archival site under legal jeopardy. What's worse, Internet Archive contains tons of pirated material, game ROMs, books, movies, music, etc. This entire collection of pirated software puts the entire company at risk of liquidation, or bankruptcy. But we have to consider several things that may occur that could prevent the Internet Archive getting busted by the police, although you never know, the company is based in the United States, so they are bound to US laws, both federal and state laws, the company's servers and office is located in California, and the company is a non-profit organization. So archive.org relies on donations and charity funds to do its business, and the site serves several useful functions, Internet Archive can pull up an old version of popular websites, if you go to google.com on archive.org, you can go all the way back to its heyday, when the search engine was in beta, this just shows you how useful and fun Internet Archive really can be. And to think that all this could come to an end really bothers me, because I absolutely love Internet Archive, I really do, but what I don't like is the potential legal consequences they may face, if any. Internet Archive has been around since 2001 for public use, but was privately operated and founded five years prior, in 1996, and it has since become one of the most accessed archival sites of all time, it basically has everything and this is where the company could be in legal trouble, because having so much pirated stuff really does put you at risk of being raided by the feds, or a company like Nintendo or Microsoft might go after your ass for pirating a ROM or a copy of Microsoft Office, even if it's very old and outdated, and in some cases, the copyright licenses are no longer active, they can still demand that you take down certain content, Internet Archive have been served several lawsuits in years past, but the latest one is what's potentially threatening this collection of old software, games, books, movies, and more, and to see it just vanish would upset so many historians and older tech people who like to use archive.org for legacy reasons. I commonly use it to get older pieces of Windows software, and sometimes even older copies of Windows such as Windows XP, and downloading this stuff is not a problem, but hosting it puts you at serious risk of a company coming after your ass to sue you, for instance, if you look up Windows XP on archive.org, you can find many pirated copies with activation keys, and all the rest of it, but Microsoft might see that and go. Hang on, these people are distributing our operating system without our permission, and Microsoft has their legal rights to sue archive.org for hosting its proprietary software, even if it's old and no longer supported, copyright laws will usually protect software even if it's more than 20 years old, whenever the company decides they no longer want those copyright laws is when the software, game, etc., can be freely hosted without running into legal trouble, but many older games and software are still protected by copyright laws of today, the same goes for books, movies, and any other material which is copyright protected, and the Internet Archive contains billions upon billions of websites and archived content, and even if the company is fighting a legal battle, chances are, big donors will pour in huge amounts of money to help archive.org fight its court case and I am really hoping that the Internet Archive wins their court case, but if not, they should still be around, but there may be fines that the company has to pay off, or it may have to remove certain bits of content, but that's probably what's likely to happen anyway, at least in my opinion, I don't know if a single lawsuit could bring down an entire archival site, but then again, US laws make it possible for such things to happen, so the company should be more careful about hosting copyright protected content, or lessen the amount it contains, because it will make archive.org less of a target for law enforcement and government agencies, as well as companies like Adobe, Microsoft, and Apple, and more recently, book publishers seem to be targeting archive.org for copywriting their books and hosting them under a different format, which to me, is so fucking stupid it's not funny, 
who fucking cares if a book gets re-uploaded into a different format, what's the fucking problem in that, honestly speaking, the legal system has no morals or ethics, it's just a rubber stamp and you're out of business, that's the kind of fucked up world we live in, and if you don't like hearing the truth, get out of here, get out of our way, we will fight for what is right, we are here to stay, you're not gonna take down my channel no matter what, fuck YouTube, fuck Google, and fuck the legal system, they can all go to hell, when I see shit like archive.org getting sued for something so darn trivial, it reminds me of the injustice and inequality of our world, and I fucking hate it, I want eternal peace, but I know that no such thing shall ever happen, and that really bothers me, because I believe that we should all be working together as a team, we should all help one another, but instead, we are divided and isolated in our own bubbles, we are so caught up in our own world that we don't give enough thought to what anyone else is going through, or even really socialize with people anymore, the technology has rotted our brains and is dividing us even further, and companies like Microsoft and Google have no rights to take away archived software, even if it is their own, those bastards make enough money selling their modern software, archived software only appeals to people who are interested in it, and it's quite a niche group of users, so I don't have a problem when a site like Internet Archive hosts old versions of Microsoft Windows or Office, so fucking what, those versions are no longer supported or updated anyway, why on earth would Microsoft give a shit, if anything, Microsoft really really wants you on Windows 11, and they want you using that goddamn spyware feature, I forget what it's called, aha, copilot plus, recall, that nasty bit of shit can fuck itself off out of existence, we don't need that piece of shit in windows, windows is bad enough as it is, but some people love xp and older, so they want to emulate it, or even use it on real pcs, and where's the first place most of you think of when you think of getting an old bit of software, that's right, archive.org, and it's wonderful that we can access such a large collection of old and legacy software, operating systems, books, etc., however, you should potentially be prepared for the eradication of Internet Archive, as it's possible it could be vaporized out of existence at any moment in time, but the likelihood of that happening now, just doesn't seem like Archive.org is going down without a fight but what the company said in its legal defense is fucking hilarious, I will read it to you, quote, it's okay for us to host pirated software because most people cannot afford this software, in other words, it's okay for me to go around in a tank and destroy people's houses, because tanks are very expensive and only certain people can afford them, that is the most stupid defense I have ever had, what kind of retarded response is that, does the company even want to protect itself from liquidating the assets, no, obviously fucking not, and this is the most disturbing part about the internet archive legal case, but it's also possible the people at the company didn't know what to say and just thought of some random lame ass excuse that's not going to cover the legal bill, and the jury's out on whether or not Internet Archive should be taken down for hosting such a large pool of pirated content, but the lawsuit itself is also trivial and problematic, which leads me to believe that if anything does happen to Internet Archive, it likely won't be the end of the world, but you never know, never say never, the US could easily take down Internet Archive, with its powerful forces and strict laws surrounding copyright protection, and if another ally like the UK or Australia sues archive.org, it's even worse, because we are part of America's empire, we are part of the Five Eyes countries, we are part of their evil forces, so if we get caught up in some insane internet archive bullshit court case, that could make matters even worse, but luckily, I don't think the end of internet archive is near. I don't think they will go down that easily, even if the defense is useless and practically a joke, there are other factors, and if anything really changes the outcome of a court case, it's money, and if a shit ton of money gets poured into internet archive, it could save the company from financial ruin and liquidating the assets, and tons of people do donate to keep this archival site alive and well, so with all the funds that they have raised, it's possible they may survive this lawsuit.
But whenever another lawsuit hits Internet Archive, it could bring about the end of the Internet Archive, but I pray that no such thing will ever happen, please never go away archive.org, we love you, we thank you for your astounding service and ability to provide decades old websites, movies, and all sorts of other stuff that is simply no longer accessible on the modern Internet, you cannot load up a version of Google from 2000 without using something like archive.org, and my favorite bit about archive.org is that you can see how web pages have come along and changed a heap since the olden days, I often look at search engines and other websites on Internet Archive when I am bored, but it's very useful for historical content too. I even used archive.org in my Google Homepage Evolution video to get every single iteration of the Google Homepage ever since its inception in 1998, I plan on doing something similar with Bing and other search engines, and I will also show older versions of other popular sites like the Apple and Microsoft website from the early 2000s. If you feel like supporting archive.org, please do so, they are fighting a losing battle, the company needs your help to fight, so please do anything you can to help them, I am sure nobody wants to see Internet Archive disappear for good, we love its huge collection of archived content, and for all of those sites, software, etc, to become inaccessible is really annoying and threatens digital preservation, once something is gone, it's gone, gone for good, so if Internet Archive does go out of existence, it almost certainly will never come back, and nothing would likely come in its place to replace it, which is most unfortunate, so please please help the company fight their court case, I do not want to see this wonderful resource land into oblivion. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.